though no one likes to talk about dying or what your loved ones will have to do when it inevitably happens. Right, but the cost of a funeral can really cripple those left behind. Consumer expert Amy Davis is here now with a new way to make sure that you're not overpaying in your time of grief. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's a sensitive subject mm -hmm. for a lot of people, and people don't like to talk about it, and that might be why so many people are overpaying. You might not think you're honoring your loved one unless you spend top dollar on their funeral service, or maybe you just don't feel right about negotiating the price of something so personal. Well, a new website can help guide you with answers to questions you may not feel comfortable asking. As hard as it is to get us to plan our own funeral, it can be even more difficult to find out how much that funeral is going to cost. Recent surveys put it as low as $2,500 or as high as nearly $14,000. There's huge discrepancies, and, and that's because of the lack of transparency. A lack of transparency that Tyler Yamasaki encountered after his grandmother died a year ago. And I volunteered to help plan their funeral. And when I went online to find a funeral home, I realized that. The information online to compare funeral homes was very hard to find. Tyler discovered that funeral homes are required by the Federal Trade Commission to give you a price list only if you ask for it by phone or in person. That prompted Tyler and two fellow Southern California Internet geeks to create the website Parting.com. So you just go to Parting.com and you enter your zip code and you'll see a list of all the funeral homes in your area and the prices that you can expect to pay for the services that you are requesting. From Kalispell, Montana to Kannapolis, North Carolina, regardless of how obscure or isolated an area may be, Parting.com has found funeral costs, even itemized. I typed in a Tomball zip code and discovered the average prices for a funeral at 13 different funeral homes, ranging from $5,800 all the way to $11,000. Click on any home to see that detailed price list. We see at the Cypress Fairbanks Funeral Home, we'd pay $295 for the facility and staff for a visitation. At Brookside and Champions, it's $175. Helpful information, if not for you, at least for loved ones. And we've put a link on our website to parting.com. It's in the consumer section of click2houston.com. And you know, you also um, want to check those prices by calling the funeral homes directly, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's a good place to start. And don't ever think you can't negotiate. I yeah. mean, you know, a lot of times when a loved one dies and you're planning a funeral, they had death benefits. And you can say, or, you know, I've got this amount of money to spend. Mm -hmm. What can you do? And they'll work with you. Yeah, really people are always on budgets yeah. for right. something like this. Yeah. Like, good Alrighty. advice, though, Amy, because you never know when you're going to need it, unfortunately. Right, exactly. Thanks. All right, thank you much. Thanks. Well, you know,